Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure that you put your prayer request in the bottom. Happy 4th of July once again. There's more news. We're going to go through it. I'm basically been sitting here watching all day. There's a lot of stuff happening there at the Zaporithia plant. They've already evacuated everybody. We've been watching the evacuation take place. So it is happening. Okay. <clears throat> Bulletin attack coming within hours. Now this is earlier today. Ukraine cuts the main electric power to Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The Russians, uh, the Russian occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, they call it ZNPP, was disconnected from its last external power line early on July 4th. That was this morning, and now uses a recently restored backup power supply. The International Atomic Energy Agency said on their website today. Now, Ukraine turned off the 750 uh, kilowatt Dnieper line, I think that's what it says, uh, early Tuesday. Uh, an advisor, a subsidiary of Russia State Nuclear Energy, said that Russia State channel, uh, television channel uh, Rosia 24 uh, says uh, the Za Zaporizhia nuclear power plant lost its connection with the last 750 kilowatt power line. Let's see. Power line remaining. Out of four available before the war, the incident occurred about 1.21 a.m. local time on July 4th. The reasons for the power cut were, weren't were immediately clear. Now, Ukraine's the one who cut the power lines. The IA says it is unknown how long it will last. A day earlier, the International Atomic Energy Agency announced the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant was reconnected to only uh, to the only available available backup power line, but the situation remained extremely fragile. The connection to the single remaining 330 kilowatt power line out of six such backup lines before the conflict was cut on March 1st due to damage sustained on the other side of the Dnieper River and restored on the evening of the 1st of July, the statement said. As of now, the sole power source that the plant can rely on is on a 330 kilowatt backup power line uh, off the site, uh, off site electricity use, for example, for pumping cooling water into the plant's power unit. Now, it has coils, okay? And the coils and these things, that's what they got to keep water in there. If they don't, the thing erupts and it blows up, basically. And you have what you had in Chernobyl. It says, claim explosive plan. Now, this is another thing. This is out today. This has been going on for a while. Ukraine's military says that Russia placed objects resembling explosives today on July 4th on the third of the fourth power units of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The armed forces of Ukraine officially announced the possible preparation in the nearest future of a provocation on the territory of Zaporizhia nuclear power plant occupied by the Russian terrorists since March 4th, 2022. According to the operational in uh, information today, outside objects resembling explosive devices were placed on the outer roofs of the third and the fourth units of the, the plant. The Pedriv does not have uh, to damage any blocks, but they can create a picture of, uh, let's see, do not have to damage ener energy blocks, but can create a picture of shelling from Ukraine. Russian media and telegram channels are misinformed about this. The armed forces of Ukraine do not violate the norms of the international human humanitarian law, which is a bunch of garbage. They're one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Monitor and control the situation are ready to act under any conditions. No provocation of the energy shall prosper. Like I said, one's blaming the other, the other's blaming the other. And they both evacuate, so they both look guilty. Attack within hours. Russian telegram social media channels claim that tomorrow Ukraine will launch missiles and drone attacks on the Zipporethia nuclear power plant. Now, we got that the other day with one of the guys that claimed to be part of our espionage team given the information that they, America and Ukraine would attack the plant. And that's why I said that's where this comes in. So, 
They even allege knowledge of participating planning details here at Session Telegram Posting. There's information from the operational sources tomorrow, 7-5-2023 at night. The armed forces of Ukraine will try to attack the power plant using long-range precision weapons and kamikaze drones. At the same time, a, mut a munici munition filled with radioactive waste removed from the south Ukrainian nuclear power plant on July 3rd today, and they did meet there, and there was something happened there, will be dropped from the air carrier by a to one military airfields in southern Ukraine. The backup plan is for the release of radioactive substance pro provides for the use of OTRK, I don't know what that is, with a warhead stuffed with radioactive substance, so they can prove that it was, they'll say it's Russia. If the nuclear power plant is attacked, and if attack causes a radiation leak, NATO will declare the, radio the radiation leak to be an attack upon NATO, which they've been preparing everybody for for weeks. I think it's one of the reasons why you're seeing what's happening in France. I know it sounds crazy, but just stay with me. You're going to see that everywhere. It's already happening. <clears throat> and invoke Article 5 of NATO Treaty, which requires the collective self-defense. If NATO declares Article 5 against Russia, the Russians have already said that they know that NATO conventional forces are superior to Russia, but reminded everyone that Russia is also a nuclear power. That they also, uh, that they have many of Russia's nuclear weapons are far superior than NATO's. And one that there will be use all weapons they have to defend Russia against NATO. Just the past weekend, Russian Deputy Chairman and the Federation Council Senate, Dmitry, one of the actions of the West and the Ukraine have brought the whole world to the brink of World War, which I've already told you it will happen. I've already seen the aftermath of it. It's horrible. If World War breaks out, there will be no winner, and there isn't. There's no winner in it. The only winner is the Antichrist, because he gets his peace treaty out of it. If the Z, uh, Z, uh, Zeporethia nuclear power plant gets attacked and radiation leaks, NATO enters the war and Russia uses its nukes. And that's what the Antichrist wants because this is what gets him his seven-year peace. And, uh, I mean, it's all fought and right into place. I mean, you if you can't see it, you're just absolutely blind. I mean, you can see what he's doing. I mean, it's he's got it all planned. It's all planned out. That's why I tell you the rapture is imminent. We could be at war within hours of the story being published. And that's 3.16 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on July 4th. And I th we're close. We're close to getting out of here. Like I said, do not fear. This is the greatest news on the planet. We're getting ready to get out of here. Ukraine has been losing the war very badly to Russia, and Ukraine's only hope is to cause an accident that draws NATO into the fight, which is very true. And they've only got to the 11th of this month to do it. That's it. People don't realize they, they're going to cut them off on the 11th. That's it. If they don't show any kind of something working, they're going to quit getting funding. So they've got to make something happen. It now appears that Ukraine is playing its final card, attacking a nuclear power plant to blame it on Russia and draw NATO into the war. But here's another thing. Russia knows this too. So you, don't, you can't count either of them out. They're, don't think that Russia's good. They're both evil. <laughs> All these people are evil, including our own government. There is a lot of evil, and the Antichrist is using that to his advantage at this moment. Understand what's happening. This is not a bit twin countries, okay? This is the Antichrist. It's that Antichrist spirit. It's making its move. It's got to get this stuff done because it knows the rapture is getting ready to happen. This is what gives the Antichrist his power. All this. Think about it. This sets all the stage for him. And many people have seen it. That right after World War III, there's a two-year, two-week break, and then he pops up. Telling everybody it's going to be okay. Mark my words. Okay, the analyst. This is what Hal Turner says in his analysis. This is coming from Hal Turner. If Ukraine is telling everyone Russia's going to blow it up. Now, this is a good point. And Russia's telling everybody Ukraine is going to blow it up. What, what is the one indisputable fact that you can uh, that you and I can figure out and it's it's going to blow up and World War three is going to start people think that it's going to just blow over it is not these three countries 
blow up the world. I've already seen it. And it's coming soon. That's why I'm telling you, be ready for the rapture. And we'll just be watching that sky because it's going to happen. And right now is the perfect time. Nobody's watching. If both sides are saying it's going to happen, seems logical to conclude it's going to happen. And it's going to. This seems like it is to me. Now, it might not happen tomorrow, but it could happen on the 6th or 7th. Now, I remember I saw 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know if that was the date. But I did see 7-7. Seven, seven. Remember, I saw a 10 and two sevens. Never knew what they meant. But uh, that, that plays out that's this whole week. Now, we don't know what that means. It could mean something else. But I just think it's ironic that all this is fitting into this week. Hope you folks got your preps, we, uh, preps weeks ago when I warned you about this. One, like I said, don't worry about preps. I mean, we're going home. These people, they, they have no clue. We're leaving. So don't worry about any of that stuff. When all this stuff, before the nuclear missiles hit, we're gone. We've already seen that. We leave. Now, this was on war news. It says, we've entered the final stage of military leadership of Ukraine. Went to revive nuclear power plant. That's one we was talking to about earlier. Russia, they prepared a dirty nuclear bomb. This is coming out of Russia. This is their propaganda. There is a great concern in Moscow that Zelensky conferred the uh, su Supreme Military Council, known as the Starvika at the River Nuclear Plant. Earlier, the Ukraine commander-in-chief uh, hassled, uh, hastily traveled twice in three days to the Ravine, it's a, yeah, it's a Ravine nuclear power plant to inspect something very important. Russian media echoing the positions of the Kremlin report that we have entered the final stage. The Ukrainians seem to have built a nuclear, dirty, a nuclear, a dirty nuclear bomb. And they've been saying this for about a month that this was coming. Like I said, this is Russian propaganda. We, we were reading you both. We're giving you both sides. For the second time in three days, Lazunsky visited the Ravine nuclear power plant. On Monday, July 3rd, Supreme Commander and Armed Forces of the Ukraine, Valery uh, Zazuki, Zazinki, I can't even say his name, visited the Ravine nuclear power plant. According to the sources, he discussed the issues of data exchange between the military industry and the power industry, as well as the possible developments of events at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. A few days earlier, Valdemir again went to the premises of the Ravine nuclear power plant, which is very suspicious. That is. It is important to note that the Ravine, Ravine nuclear power plant is located in western Ukraine. And there is no threat against the nuclear, that nuclear power plant. So what is Zelensky afraid of? The recent relocation to Belarus near Rhine of the Wagner PMC camps, if it, 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 it is noted that the unique American aircraft WC-135R, the Constant Phoenix, arrived on the island of Crete. We told you that the other day. That's like a nuke sniffer. It goes over. So they're preparing for it. They've done everything to set this thing up on both sides. So we don't know who's the, the real guilty party. But they both set it up propaganda-wise. So bottom line, they're going to blow it up, and World War III will come out of it. They've already made up their mind. I told you that months ago, that the Holy Spirit told me they've already, they've already made up their minds. There's no turning back. They've got, they have turned themselves over to reprobate minds. The Antichrist spirit has talked them into doing this, and they're not going to stop. See, people think it's just going to blow over. But I'm here to tell you, you're going to be going to the grocery store when them things start flying. Very soon, it is going to happen. We are leaving. Mark my words. We are leaving soon. Because I've already told you this stuff was going to come to pass. Months and months and months ago. I told you before Belarus got their weapons that they played a major part, and then they got their weapons. I didn't know squat about Belarus and saw them in a dream and how much that they made a move on Ukraine. And it's all, it's all taken place. Just what the Lord has showed us and many others, he's already shown us how this thing starts and how it finishes. And that's why I said, if you're not saved, now is the time. Because this is escalating so fast. It, it dies down, then it escalates. Dies down, escalates. But that's birth pains. That's exactly what Jesus and Paul and many others told us was going to happen. It's happening right in front of you. Now, a lot of people, they don't want to believe it. They don't want to see it. They just love this world so much. 
they would rather go down in a mushroom cloud than give this world up. Never seen anything like it, but they're obsessed with this planet. And they would they can't not get out of the world. And God said in the last days they would do that. And they are doing it word for word out of the Bible. Okay, Zelensky co convened the Starfka Military Council at Ravine Nuclear Power Plant. At the same time, on the first of the month, Z Zelensky uh, convened a military council with the participation of the Starvikia Supreme Military Command at the Ravine Nuclear Power Plant, which is weird why they'd all meet there. According to the official explanation from Zelensky's office, it was decided to hold a meeting at that facility in order to assess possible threats to the situation on the spot. At the same time, Zelensky heard the reports that uh, Luzlunksi and, I can't say that name either, but the operational situation on the border of Belarus, as well as about the possibility actions of the Russian army. At the meeting, the Ukraine's uh, Supreme Commander Headquarters, General Neve, and Interior Minister, man, where do the people name these people? spoke who mentioned the strengthening of the northern direction of the protection of the nuclear power plants in the north. According to Zelensky, the issues of protecting the ravine nuclear power plant from cyber threats were also discussed, which I think is a load of crap. We, call, we, we recall that earlier Zelensky accused Russia of allegedly intending to detonate the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Actually, they shelled it. They've shelled it quite a few times, too. They've actually shot missiles at it. Ukraine, not Russia. Russian permanent uh, representative to the UN, Bazel nah, something, sent on an official letter to the members of the organization which states that Russia does not and cannot have, based on common sense, any intention to carry out an explosion at the Zeporithian nuclear power plant. Because it would radiate all of Russia. I mean... And people on here will actually believe that because they believe anything CNN and them, them, them tells them. It's, just, it's so reprobate minds. We entered the final stage, say the Russians. Ukraine increasing numbers of accusations against Russia for alleged readiness to blow up the plant. Shows Kiev is preparing for a large-scale nuclear propagation. Russian media reports emphasizing that we have entered the final stage. The specific mention, the number of Ukraine statements that Russia are going to blow up the plant is increasing day by day. Despite the fact that Russia's per, uh, permanent representation to the UN made an official statement that Russia is not going to detonate Europe's largest nuclear plant, Ukrainian officials continue to stick to this disformation line. In such a situation, there will be one explanation. The Zelensky regime having lost several thousands of its best trained troops, is almost month, its monthly, uh, see, it's almost monthly uh, counterattack sees the no longer a way to win serious support from the West than a nuclear provocation. Given the fact that such provocation have become a trademark to Kiev, there is no doubt that the Ukraine side will try to detonate the nuclear power plant. In Kiev, they realize that the counterattack has reached a dead end, and until they start the start of NATO meeting, there is particularly nothing to present to their partners. He will do nothing to draw attention to them, for the reason there are no they are now unleashing a massive disinformation with accusations against Russia that Moscow will allegedly blow up the nuclear power plant with which it controls. If the Ukraine regime fails to blow up the nuclear power plant, then they will play the release of radioactivity card. The presence of the missions of the station does not, of course, concern either the Kiev regime or the American or the British curators. Therefore, Ukraine may try to plant something like a dirty nuclear bomb in the Zipporithia region to resemble an explosion at the nuclear power plant controlled by the Russian Federation. The Russians conclude. Like I said, that's Russian propaganda. We read you Ukraine's propaganda first, then theirs. But if you put them both together, they're going to blow the plant. Okay? Both of them's accusing each other. Somebody's going to blow it. And it will start World War III. NATO gets involved. And then, well, all hell breaks loose. And we've already told you how that out. How that ends. It's not well. So I tell you, the rapture is coming. Now, 
we've read you all that. That's kind of, I'll give you updates through the day, but I wanted to talk to you about France. France is pretty much fallen, people. The, the media won't touch it, but France is fallen. I need you to pray for the people of France and pray for the animals. They let out all the zoo animals. They're running through the streets. There's lions, elephants, zebras, everything running through the street, and these animals don't know what's happening. It's, it's horrible. But they've let all these animals out. They're running the streets. They have no idea where they're at, and I'm telling you, it's just horrible. We've got zebra, elephants, lions, everything just running the streets of France. France has fallen. If this was Russia, they'd already said, okay, Russia's done. But where it's a NATO country, nobody's saying anything. The media won't go near it. They're trying to hide it from everybody, like usual. It's what they did in 2020. But literally, France is burning to the ground. There ain't going to be a Paris in a week, the way it's going. And like that one guy said, he said, this, this ain't a riot. He said, this is war. France looks like it did in World War II right now. Half their parliament is burning to the ground. So definitely keep the people of France and these animals, these poor animals, it's just, it's, it's just pitiful over there. And that's made its way into Switzerland, doing the same thing there. So, like I said, the world's on fire. It's burning. We're leaving. These people are going to blow each other up. And I already tell you, they do. So the best thing for you to do, you and the church, I'm not talking to you. You're ready to go. And trust me, you guys are excited. We're going to be having a big picnic very soon in heaven. Can't wait to see each and every one of you there. Those of you that's on the fence, you're running out of time because this world is burning to the ground and it's getting, it's getting it's faster and faster each and every day. They're going to blow this planet up. And when they do, NATO's going to get involved and they're going to bring nukes into this. And I can already tell you the outcome of it. It's not pretty. We leave right before they start doing this stupidity stuff. Heck, we might be out of here tonight, my friends. This might be our Independence Day for sure. We might be leaving here tonight if these people decide to blow each other up. And I, let's hope they do so we can get out of here. Praise the Lord. Get us out of here. But just keep all this stuff in mind. If you're lost, call upon Jesus. He died for your past, present, and future sins. The Word of God is the only truth. There's only one God. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in that. Walk forward. Don't walk backwards. And you're saved and you're ready to get out of here. And right now you're running out of time. Right now you're running out of time. You're going to have to pick a side. There's heaven or hell. You can. There's no in between. There's no other gods. There's only one God. It's Lord Jesus Christ. There is no one. It's, that's it. Yeshua is the only God. You're going to have to make a choice. This world is ending. No, there is no denying it. We leave, and then God come, Jesus comes back somewhere in 2030, and the thousand-year reign is going to start. Mankind is running out of time. He's out of time. What you're seeing now, all this, everything is going to be gone very soon. And trust me, these other people that are sleeping out here, yay, and they're bikinis, and they're all drunk and everything else, they have no clue what's about to hit them. And imagine, you don't want to be here when they realize that stuff's all gone. Permanent. Because that's what happens. A lot of these people, they wake up and everything, their entertainment, their sports, their internet, everything, gone and it ain't coming back. Gone forever. That's what's coming. I, I know it's hard to believe, but I've seen it. It does happen. The only way for you to get out of it, and Jesus has told me to tell you this, the rapture, that is your only way out. That is it. You don't have to be here. You can choose the rapture, choose Jesus, his blood, it's all about his blood. And that's your only way out of this. It's that bad. But it is coming. We've been telling you for months this was going to happen. And it's just slowly worked its way through. Too many of us have seen it. If not, I wouldn't be telling you about it. But these things are coming. We're leaving. And I can't wait to see each and every one of you in heaven. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.